Hello, and uh, here we are with uh, Supercycle on the uh, Commodore 64. As you can see, this came out in 86 and uh, was developed by Epix. And uh, this is from an era when uh, Epix were still pretty much at the top of the game, so uh, this should be good. Let's, uh, let's get started. So you can pick your bike colour. Um, doesn't really affect anything. You can pick a leather style, leather colour. Um, that's a suitably disgusting uh, combination. So let's go on to um, this. You can pick your difficulty level. Now level one's a bit on the easy side. Uh, level two is quite challenging, and uh, I find level three a bit too difficult. But uh, that's just me. I mean. Uh, your mileage may vary, uh, if you'll excuse the pun. So, uh, let's get started. Now, uh, as a multi-load, uh, this game, uh, it's not too bad. I, I did actually, uh, I had this on cassette back in the day. It wasn't too bad. Uh, uh, right, here we go. I must say, the, the multi-load uh, is a lot faster on disc, but, uh, but it's not too slow on cassette. Right, so here we go. Uh, press button to begin. So this is purely a race against the clock. Uh, so you've got three gears. I, I personally find the uh, motorway engine a bit annoying, uh, but not as annoying as the uh, skid sound effect, which is horrendous. But uh, now you can see uh, it's very fast, and the road routine is effective, but but it doesn't actually shift left or right when you move. And the perspective doesn't change or anything like that. So, um, what happens is just just the bike itself moves, which is okay, but it's not it's not quite as immersive, I think. Uh, but doing it this way gives us a a much faster, smoother experience. So, uh, you know, I, I can't really criticise the uh, road routine too much for that. And as you can see, uh, it's probably one of the fastest uh, routines uh, on the 64, at least. I can't really think of many race games that are as, feel as fast as this. And unlike uh, Pit Stop 2 from Epix, uh, this this actually has some uh, roadside graphics as well. Yeah, this is the skid sound effect. I, I'm not too keen on that, uh, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I mean, it's qu itself is quite a cool effect, but it just gets a bit annoying. Uh. So there we go, managed to get the first uh, checkpoint. It just loads in the next track and uh, sort of rinse, repeat, uh, I'm afraid. Uh, that's pretty much all the game has to offer, uh, but um, th there are some complications. Uh, some tracks have uh, closed lanes. Uh, uh, and there's oil patches or uh, icy patches depending on on the terrain. So so the, there is a there is slightly more to it, I, I guess. Uh, once you get to full speed here, the game does get it's quite exhilarating. I must admit. And, and the handling of the bike is just about right. I think it's got that. Slightly slippery feel, but it's it's okay. You can just about cope with it. Yeah, the controls are that they're they're challenging enough just to make it slightly tricky, but but not 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 but but not frustrating. I think. Uh. And if you go slower, then yeah. The, it's a bit easier to control, so uh, it's it's re reasonably realistic, I think. There's different there's, there's different levels, there's snow levels, uh, and there's a, there's a night level. There's a level with um, sort of thunder, uh, thunderstorm. It's quite quite atmospheric. 
And the horizon graphics are always quite atmospheric, you know, they're supposed to quite often represent landmarks from around the world. I mean, compare this to the, uh, the travesty that is uh, super high on on the C64. It's night and day, really. Uh. This is just a, a different planet. Uh, uh, just my, my biggest niggle is just the fact that the, uh, the screen doesn't shift left right, but uh, you get used to it. Uh. Sometimes you can uh, get a bit of momentum from bikes behind. They can sort of, uh, you sort of if you push them, they can uh, nudge your head a little bit. Uh. Oh, oops! Oh, that's a tricky bend there. It's a bit tricky here. I still think this is quite an exhilarating uh, race game. Uh, in terms of all all out speed, I don't think it was really ever rivaled on the 64. So um, yeah, pretty good from that point of view. I think. Uh, um, well, this, is, this looks like a bonus track. Yeah, you hit flags for bonus points. Breaks up the game a little bit, I suppose. Right, so what am I going to rate it? Well, I still think this is um, quite a top notch race game on a 64. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'll give this um, give this 9 out of 10, I think. Just because just I think it's really great. Uh, so, it's just a couple of niggles. Uh, Maybe stop it getting more, but it's polished. The gameplay is pretty good, so uh, can't ask for more than that. I think. So that's Super Cycle for you, uh, nine out of ten. And uh, well, guess I'll see you in the next video.